Understanding Length of Tenancy, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're going to dive into the term length of tenancy, a common phrase you might encounter when dealing with housing, renting, or real estate. Whether you're planning to rent a place or just aiming to enhance your English, understanding this term is quite essential. Let's unravel the meaning together. The length of tenancy refers to the duration or period a tenant, the person renting a place, has the right to occupy a rental property. It is a key term in rental agreements and is crucial for both landlords and tenants. This period can vary greatly, from a few months to several years, depending on the agreement between the two parties involved. Understanding the length of tenancy is important for several reasons. 1. Security. It provides tenants with a sense of security, knowing how long they can stay in the property. 2. Planning. It helps both tenants and landlords plan ahead. Tenants can plan their stay or future move, and landlords can plan for future tenants or maintenance. 3. Legal clarity. It offers clarity and avoids disputes, ensuring both parties are aware of the duration of the agreement. 1. Fixed Term Tenancy. This is a tenancy that lasts for a specific amount of time as stated in the rental agreement, such as six months or one year. 2. Periodic Tenancy. This type of tenancy does not have a fixed end date but is ongoing, usually on a week-to-week -week or month-to-month -month basis. It continues until either the landlord or the tenant gives notice to end it. 3. Long-term tenancy. This refers to tenancies that last for several years. These are less common and usually involve specific legal stipulations. Can the length of tenancy be changed? Yes, but usually, this requires agreement from both the tenant and the landlord and may involve signing a new contract. What happens when the length of tenancy ends? The tenant is expected to move out unless a new agreement is reached. Sometimes, a fixed-term tenancy might automatically convert to a periodic tenancy if no new agreement is made. Is it better to have a longer or shorter length of tenancy? It depends on your personal or business needs. Longer tenancies provide more stability, while shorter ones offer more flexibility. We hope this video has shed light on the concept of length of tenancy and its importance in the realm of renting and real estate. Understanding terms like this not only helps in practical life situations but also enhances your command of the English language. If you found this video helpful, Remember to keep exploring and expanding your language skills. Happy learning!